Hi everyone, John Cottrell here of Embody Yoga, and this is Soft Flow Yoga. Thanks for joining me. In our practice today, we're just going to focus on some gentle twisting, just to kind of work the torso a little bit. Sometimes we can get a little stiff when we bend forward or go side to side or twist side to side. So we're just going to open up and release. Let's start with some breath. Let's take a few deep breaths just to settle in, step into our practice together. Nice full breath in, filling up your lungs, and a complete exhale. Feel free to breathe out through your mouth with a sigh. Full breath in, and exhale. One more time, full breath in, and exhale. Good, just continue with slow, steady breaths here. Just a mindful way to tune into your body. Notice how you're feeling at this moment to feel fully connected, making this full arrival, being present. Good. Just continue with your slow, steady breaths here. Let's take three more breaths. Just bringing a little bit more energy to the body. Let's add a very simple movement. Your next inhale, extend your arms out and up, just reaching for the sky. And exhale, extend your arms out with good effort as you bring them back down to your side, completing that first round of breath. Let's do that again. Nice full breath in, reaching out all the way up. And exhale. Now just continue to breathe and move at your own pace. Just feeling how breath is moving your body. Bringing life and energy. Feeling the effort of the extension of the arms, reaching out and all the way up. Just creating some space along the sides of your body. So when you reach out, then all the way up, really take that extra stretch as you reach high. Remember, we're doing some twisting, so we want to create some good space along the sides of our bodies. Go ahead and finish the breath that you're on and take two more breaths. And when you're complete, just come back to stillness and just hold here. Good. Let's come to our hands and knees and just move through the spine and our hips. This will also start to create some space along the sides of the body before we begin to rotate. So coming to hands and knees here with your hands generally just beneath the shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Inhale, just tip the head up, sending your heart forward. Feel that pelvis tip back. This creates this back bend. This is cow pose. Then exhale, tuck the pelvis under. Feel your belly button pull up towards your spine, the curvature of the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, tilt the pelvis back. Till the belly drop, there's the natural arch of the back, heart opens, and just tip the gaze forward. And just exhale, round it all out. Moving and breathing at your own pace here as you feel this wonderful undulation through the spine. That good rocking sensation through the pelvis. Just getting some good mobility through the spine in this direction. And soon we'll be rotating on a different axis as we get, move into our twisting practice together. Now go ahead and finish the breath that you're on and take two more breaths. Let's return to a neutral tabletop posture 
Just take your gaze downward between your thumbs so your neck is neutral as well. Let's move it to a downward facing dog. We'll step the hands forward a little bit, just taking the hands out from underneath the shoulders. Spread out your fingers to create a nice base. Tuck your toes under. Let's do one more cat cow. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. Hold cat. Lifting knees off the mat. Send your hips up into the air, allowing your head and chest to sink naturally between the arms. Just holding for a moment. This also creates some good lengthening through the sides of your body and lengthening through the spine. From here, take a few steps forward, perhaps just to the center of your mat, and just go ahead and slide your fingertips toward your toes. We'll inhale and slide the hands up to the shins or knees. Just rise up halfway. Nice flat back. Let's hold here for a moment, being sure your feet feel solid on the ground, a softness in the knees. You're going to feel some energy and strength in your legs, hands just resting lightly on your shins. We're parallel to the floor here. Feeling the top of your head, feel like it's moving forward, while well, your hips and tailbone feel like they're moving towards the wall behind you. From here, shifting your weight back into your heels, bend your knees to lower your hips like you're about to sit down. Bring hands to thighs, push into thighs, just to lift up to about 45 degrees here, just feeling the extension of the spine. Now this is a pose we'll be coming back to once we get into our gentle twisting. If you feel strong and balanced here, extend your arms out to the side, drive your heels down into the floor to help straighten the legs, then finish standing. Inhale, reach up, even tip your gaze upward. On the exhale, bring your palms together and down to your heart. Let's hold here, taking a breath or two. Good, let's do some side bends. We're gonna inhale, reach out and up. And on the exhale, just bring your right arm down to your side. Inhale, keep reaching through the left hand up. Exhale, a little bend to the right side of the room. Not too far, just enough where you feel that natural lengthening through the side of the body here. But you don't want to feel any pinching on this side. So if you need to, you can always come back up a little bit. Another thing you can do here, since the left hand is reaching up, press the left foot more into the floor. It'll create a little subtle extra lengthening through the side of the body. Okay, let's free this right hand. Inhale, come up, stand up tall and straight. Exhale, we'll bring both arms down to the side, finishing that round. You can even roll your shoulders here just to relax. Let's do the other side. Inhale, extend both arms out and up. On the exhale, bring the left arm down to your side. Inhale, extending through right. Exhale, little tip to the left side, starting to get that natural stretch. Just getting to the spot where you start to feel that natural stretch through the side of the body without pinching on the left side. If you need to, modify and come back up. You don't have to overstretch here. As you're reaching through the right hand, press right foot more firmly into the floor. Two more breaths. Excellent. Let's take this other free hand. Inhale, come all the way back up, straight and tall. This exhale, bring both arms down to your side. Good. A little roll of the shoulders. Forward and backward. Return to mountain pose and just take an easy flow back down to the floor. Inhale, extend the arms out and up. Exhale, spread your wings, bend your knees, sitting back into that imaginary chair again. You can even bring hands to thighs. Just a little pause. And then we're just going to shoot or slide the hands down the shins, taking your forward fold. Inhale, extend through the spine. Exhale, keep folding, bend the knees more so you can place your hands on your mat and walk or step the feet back. You'll be in plank pose. Take a breath in. On the exhale, bend the knees a little, send your hips into the air, returning to downward facing dog. Now this time you might need to step the feet forward a little bit, even adjusting the hands.
Let's move into a lunge sequence. I like to step my left foot to center, just next to the right foot. Inhale, extend the right leg up into the air, just reaching back. Exhale, step right foot to the top of the mat, just landing behind the right hand. Turn left heel to the floor, shifting the weight back. Even walk the hands back a little bit so you do have that good weight and pressure in that back foot so you feel balanced. Just climb up the leg here with both hands right up to the thigh. Same sensation of extending through the spine at 45 degrees. Free the hands, reach out. Inhale, rise up until you're perpendicular to the ground. Hold here on the exhale. We're going to inhale here. Exhale, turning to your left. Bring your arms down to parallel, adjusting the feet beneath you for a good, strong foundation. You'll be in warrior two. You can even turn your gaze over towards your right hand. Just hold for a moment. We're going to do another side stretch here. Side angle pose, reach out. Angle upper body, rotate the arms here, and just bring your right hand to your right thigh. We'll bring the left hand straight up initially, and then overhead. That same side stretch we did in a standing pose. Not going to be here too long. Take a breath in. On the exhale, you might rise up a little bit, making space so you can easily turn. Let's free the hands, present the hands, and fold. Bring your hands to the floor. Rise up on your tiptoes behind you. Press firmly into the mat with the hands so you can easily slide this right foot back into plank pose. Let's take another shortcut to downward facing dog by bending the knees and sending hips into the air. Adjusting the feet and adjusting the hands. We'll step the right foot closer to the left at center on the mat. Let's inhale, extend left leg up and back. Doesn't have to lift too high. Exhale, left foot to the top of the mat, landing behind the left hand. Right heel to the floor. Remember to shift the weight back so you're fully connected to the ground with that back foot. Go ahead and climb up the leg to the thigh. Press into thigh to extend spine. Free the hands, extend them out and up. Inhale, hold on the exhale. Let's hold for a couple breaths. Take a breath in and exhale, opening to warrior two. Arms to parallel, adjusting the feet. Arms parallel to the ground. Let's turn the head over towards the left set of fingers. Moving into our side angle pose, reaching out angled upper body. You're gonna rotate the arms, bringing left hand to thigh, right hand reaching up initially, and then over your head for a light side stretch. Good, breathing in. On the exhale, I'm just lifting to create space so I can turn easily, present the hands, fold. Hands to the floor, rise up onto tiptoes behind you, press firmly into the mat with the hands, strong arms, so you can slide this left foot back, plank pose. Soften the knees, send the hips into the air, downward facing dog. Adjusting the feet, adjust your hands as you need to. And then take several steps to the center of your mat. Slide fingertips towards your toes. Once again, forward fold. Inhales rise up halfway to elongate through spine. And exhale, fold. Now, a task here. Grab one of your blocks. Hopefully it's nearby since we're in this forward fold. We're going to place the block between the thighs. Give it a good squeeze. Let's go ahead and rise up halfway again here. Keep squeezing the block, but lean back into the heels. Root down, press, stand up, lift up, reaching into the air. Exhale, arms down to your side. Now, if you need to adjust this block, or if you didn't get the block initially, go ahead and grab your block and place it between the thighs now. Now, we're using that to help stabilize the hips, keeping the hips in place as we move into our chair pose with a twist. I'm going to turn this way. 
Inhale, extend your arms into the air. Exhale, take a mild chair-like position. Bring hands to heart center. Keep squeezing the block. You're gonna inhale, extend through spine. Exhale, pull belly in in a mild rotation to your right. Just a mild turn, doesn't have to be too much. If you need a little extra support, you can free your hands. Place left hand on this outer thigh. And the other free hand now maybe at your low back or even your hip. If you take it to the low back, you wanna make sure your back here at the low end is flat. That way you know that your hips are square and aligned and you're only rotating through the upper half of the body. One more breath. I'm just free this back hand, bring it around and down. Bring hands to prayer pose again. Drive heels into the floor. Rise up. Let's free the hands, reach out and up. And exhale, arms down to your side. Let's do the other side. Inhale, reaching out and up. Exhale, take your gentle chair pose. Go ahead and bring hands to heart center. You can keep the seat, the seat high. You don't have to sit down too low for this. Make sure you have a good hold of the block, a little squeeze. Inhale to feel the spinal extension. Exhale, draw belly button in and your rotation to your left. Just a little turn, doesn't have to be much. Remember, we don't have to overdo any of these poses. Really taking our time. A little added support, bringing right hand to the outer thigh here, free hand to the low back, again, just to ensure it's flat. That way I'm nicely aligned with this gentle rotation through the upper body. Okay, I'm gonna free this back hand, unwind, hands together, drive heels into the floor, standing up tall, Inhale, taking arms out and up, and exhale, arms down to your side. Now let's see if we can keep the block in place as we fold and we'll remove it later. Inhale, reaching into the air. Exhale, take that same chair pose, bring hands to thighs, and let the hands slide down the shins towards toes. Inhale, rise up halfway to extend the spine. Exhale, fold, and this is where you can remove your block. We're gonna make our way back down to the ground. Keep bending the knees, lower the hips, get low enough until you can bring your hands to the floor, and just take several steps back to the back end of your mat. Nice long upper body and legs, plank pose for strength, and then bring knees to the floor. I'm gonna sit back briefly into hero pose. Here we're just gonna take a seat. I wanna bring in my bolster. You can sit on your mat, a pillow, bolster, even a block. Let's do another twist here. Again, sitting up nice and tall. Now that we've got some good mobility through the spine, we've done some side bends, forward folds, and already have rotated the upper body. Now let's just do a comfortable seated twist. We're gonna to twist to the right first. So take your right hand and maybe bring it around, maybe either behind you or by your side, propped up onto your fingertips so you can push down into the ground to maintain the length in spine. Take the free left hand, bring it around to this thigh. You're gonna inhale, get nice and tall. Exhale, a gentle rotation ah, to the right. Not much, right about here for me is good. Just several breaths. And again, if you feel like you've over-rotated, just unwind a little bit. Take several breaths. Because we are seated, you can probably hold this pose for a good 30 seconds. So I'm watching my clock. I have a clock right out in front of me. So I can watch the second hand go around and count out 30 seconds. All right, I have five more seconds. Five, four, Three, two, one. 
Wake it up nice and tall with a breath in. Exhale, draw belly in just to support the body as I now unwind and come back to center, just holding here for a moment so I can allow the spine to realign. Let's get ready for the other side. Same setup, left hand, maybe on the floor behind you or by your side, just a way to help guide the torso upward, nice lengthening sensation. This free hand over here on the left thigh, taking a breath in, and exhale, here's my rotation. Again, not too far, to the left. I can even feel like, I mean, I feel like I could go further, but that would be a strain. So I'm gonna unwind just a little bit, just to soften this, and I'm gonna start my countdown now for 30 seconds. Just a mild, gentle rotation. You can certainly hold this longer than 30 seconds, especially if it doesn't feel like you're straining. Got five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, draw belly in for support as I unwind. Hands can just rest on the knees here as the spine settles. Let's just hold here as we complete our practice together. You can just close your eyes and return to some deep breaths. So that's our gentle twisting practice. I hope you enjoyed the practice with me, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Namaste. Thank you so much for watching and participating in this yoga lesson. To help us with the channel so we can continue to bring you more content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It's really appreciated. Namaste.